I want to think um, think aloud about uh, the relationship between knowledge and rationality. knowledge and rationality. On the face of it, it seems um, the relationship seems obvious enough, but when you think about it and when you hear some people say knowledge, rationality is knowledge. Of course, knowledge of certain type, but just hearing this, uh, such uh, claims makes you think about the complexity of the relationship between knowledge and rationality. One um, uh, suggestion, I would say, um, I read recently was that knowledge is, sorry, so rationality is how you use knowledge, how you use knowledge, how do you use knowledge. Mm. This is interesting enough um, suggestion, but then that doesn't mean that that's all rationality is about. Sure enough, rationality, part of rationality is how you use knowledge, but surely you can't limit rationality to how you use knowledge either. So I want to just uh, muse about uh, these sort of issues in this video and maybe in you know the following videos as well if I have more to if I think that it this uh, discussion is going anywhere or would be interesting. So, to start with, there's no doubt that there's a uh, knowledge in whatever your conception of the relationship between knowledge and rationality might be. They are closely connected concepts, the concept of rationality and the concept of knowledge. And my hunch is that your conception of rational, your conception of rationality in some way would depend on your conception of knowledge. In other words, what your views are about knowledge, your views are about knowledge, meaning your conceptions, conception or conceptions of knowledge and types of knowledge. So your conception and your Your conception about or of knowledge and its types is going to affect or influence. your conception
conceptions and types of sorry conceptions of rationality of rationality and its types so even though knowledge and rationality are not the same thing knowledge and rationality are different concepts different concepts uh, they are interdependent concept in the sense that your knowledge of your conception of rational rationality is going to affect your conception of knowledge and vice versa so that seems um, obvious to me at this point even though obviously can't give any example at the moment because we haven't even started our discussion and we don't even know what knowledge is and what rationality is at this point in a specifically okay one popular conception of the relationship between rationality and knowledge is to say that rationality is an instrument through which we seek knowledge in other words rationality can be seen as can be seen as a uh, conduit through which we receive knowledge So in that sense, rationality is the mean. Rationality is the means and knowledge is the end bit. And the status of knowledge is so elevated because the status of knowledge is elevated knowledge is something precious either as an in, end in itself or as a means to higher ends that's why and rationality is a means to that and that's why rationality is also precious now when we talk about rationality as, a, as an instrument so when we say that rationality is a means for knowledge the question is um, many questions can be asked obviously all knowledge or some of the knowledge which type of knowledge Similarly, we can ask whether it's a necessary instrument or also sufficient or both necessary and sufficient. <clears throat> and if are there any other means, depending on your answers, and what is the relationship with, uh, between rationality and those other means 
So these are all those questions which would have to be asked when we are talking about just this one type of relationship um, that is the instrument. Rationality is the instrument in knowledge. And just, uh, just this conception, just one conception, and obviously this is only one conception that raises all these issues. So just to elab elaborate a bit on this and just to illustrate this, the points I just made, uh, for example, if you say rationality, 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 is uh, necessary to learn means for knowledge but it is not sufficient so rationality needs other tools or we need other tools to combine with rationality in order to get knowledge for example so one simple um, simple um, illustration or one simple Not simple, but <laughs> um, okay. Simple or obvious example is uh, empiricism, for example, of this view, a type of empiricism, anyway, which says that in order to produce knowledge. You have to combine information um, information gathered through senses with rational organization of that. <laughs> information and this is what produces knowledge combination so in this uh, case uh, at least certain type of knowledge requires senses as well as rational organization capacities or reason to combine in order to produce um, knowledge. So this sort of view might have been held for a, This is a simplistic uh, uh, explanation of a view which was held by, you know, empiricist uh, philosophers in different ages. Uh, yeah. in, in modern philosophy, you can think of Hume and Locke uh, as example of these sort of uh, views. Uh, in this is example, we have sort of touched on another very interesting and important issue which can arise in this debate is whether reason is just or rationality. Obviously, we haven't even touched on the concept, the relationship, the issue of relationship between reason and rationality, which uh, probably we, sh we would be doing in, in the following sessions. Um, but just in the previous example, when we said that, I said that uh, some people think that rationality is an instrument of necessary instrument of knowledge but not sufficient it needs the help of other faculties for example senses 
and for example empiricist view is that senses provide us information and reason is just an organized organizational principle it's an important thing but it doesn't provide us us with the content content of the knowledge or the information of the knowledge um, so this is another huge issue because some people think that reason or rationality cannot provide information it on, it is only uh, an organizational organizational principle or or even if it does provide con content that content is its own construction we can't be sure whether that content belongs to any objective reality or not that's for example Kant's view uh, so there there are people who say that rationality is only an organizational principle and other people who say no it is organizational principle as well as it also provides content it might not provide content of the sort which senses provide so senses uh, provide us information about physical things observable things but reason provide us content about uh, abstract things for example numbers universals for example through senses we perceive black and white colors related to particular things so black motorcycle or white car but blackness and whiteness itself as universal concepts are perceived by reason um, but that would be based on the view that universals actually universal actually exists out there but empiricists would say that universals don't exist uh, independent of human capacity for that abstraction and all those things so um yeah so um that's another so you can have um, reason is necessary but not sufficient but you can say a reason other view is reason is sufficient for example in perceiving abstract realities um, and this we would contest this and say that no reason is just an organiza organizational principle and there are no abstract entities independent from the act of abstraction etc so these are the issues which will come up when we are going to these are some of the issues which will come up when we are going to try to uh, understand the relationship between reason and knowledge or rationality or knowledge and as i said we haven't even touched on the issue of the relationship between reason and rationality in this session and so these these are some of the issues and we have started the process of thinking about these issues and we'll continue inshallah okay until next time